architecturally, this is a gorgeous project because it's integrated so beautifully into the landscape, and it's such a unique landscape to begin with, yeah. and it's evocative. Um, the strength is also that it, that it is very, very straightforward and, and can fully rely on passive systems. We especially liked um, the rammed earth wall because I think as we move forward in sustainable design, we're going to need to see examples of new technologies built into buildings and actually working. We've heard about round earth for a long time, but to see it in a community type project is Well, it's nice, it's nice to see it polished like marble rather than being mm -hmm. cobweb. And they do have the blue stained pine, um, which is obviously pine beetle damaged wood, so that's a very important resource to begin absorbing into our buildings. And there's the habitable green roof. Um, and obviously very, very careful use of water. So it does speak to all the things that we're looking for and it's probably, given the context of the program, it's probably all that could have been done here. A piece of architecture planted in the landscape and then imposing its order upon that landscape. This is, the landscape is create, you know, this, this is a building, though beautiful, with the striking round earth wall really, you know, takes a secondary place to its landscape. The language that we're starting to see here, this is very understated. Mm -hmm. It's very still. It's mm -hmm. very simple. It has a limited use of materials. It's not overglazed. I think these are all qualities that we're beginning to see in the evolution of sustainable design.